I'm really grateful for all of the community collaborators, partners, and influential athletes who would give of their time, their resources, and their abilities to help us raise awareness around mental well-being and suicide prevention. It's, it's tough being in that environment because, you know, it becomes a way of life. It's really the internal standard and purpose that you walk every single day with. Money, status does not equate to happiness. God made me stop because that's the only way that I knew how to learn. I had an anxiety issue and then that turned into depression. I'm blessed for the family and teammates that I came into the league with. This is the activity where we all get to lean in together, create these unbelievable boxes of hope that we will then be taking out into the community. This is about building the bridges. I want to thank you for taking time today and joining us for this event and for delivering these boxes to the Pearson Community Center. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Can you believe we've been doing this almost three years now with the defensive line? This small team of four or five people that we have, they dedicate their lives to ending suicide. When I was in Seattle, nobody was really talking about it until I said I needed help and I was going to take some time away. Then some of my teammates was like, hey man, you know, I was, I was dealing with that two weeks ago. Prioritizing your mental health it requires you to step out of that comfort zone that you created in that isolation, to step towards having difficult conversations and bringing light to the dark parts of you that you never even wanted to talk about. Our patients, some of them don't even know that the resources are right next door to them. And so it is, you know, someone's lifeline sometimes. They need to know that there's someone there to listen. You know, if you need somebody that is gonna be there for you, that understands your point of view and what you're going through. If you're a young person, the Trevor Project, their website, or you know their hotlines, they have all the research, they have all the resources there. NAMI, the National Alliance of Mental Illness, they have a lot of resources. I think that really helps when you're talking about things that can actually help you move forward in life. You never know what little message or what little conversation can spark in somebody. You know, at Intermountain Health, our mission, helping people live the healthiest lives possible, drives us every day. And mental health, mental well-being is such a big need right now for adults and children. We all got our little things that we go through and stuff like that. And just because I play on TV and I'm a football player doesn't mean I don't go through stuff. And that's kind of what these guys have been explaining. Well, I think it's important for everybody to, uh, you know, kind of talk about it, bring awareness to it. To see men who are so masculine and have dream jobs that so many kids would want. To be able to see them be so vulnerable and so honest and so authentic, we all need a reminder that that is truly what life is about. We were able to do this work because of our partners like Intermountain Health, and we are so grateful to them.